Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today I'm going to go over some things. Quite a few all, few of you all have asked me about um, the products and materials I use to uh, make certain things. So I'm going to just kind of give you um, a general overview of things that I keep on my craft table at all times. So yeah, so let's just go ahead and get to it. All right, so let's um, start with adhesives. Um, I did get quite a few questions about adhesives I use. So let's do that first. So first of all, one of my mainstays at all times is the Gorilla Wood Glue. It's good for so many different things, but namely working with the wood and gluing together. Um, you know, my, my furniture and even working with projects within um, the dollhouse. That, that's a mainstay at all times. Also, um, with regard to um, the dollhouse or wallpaper and things like that, I really like um, just the regular tacky glue. And a lot of times I buy that from the dollar store. Um, as far as adhesives, um, we've talked on several occasions and you hear me talk about this all the time. Again, a part of the Gorilla Wood family, it's that super glue. Yeah, the super glue gel because it's super glue, but it's not runny. It's thick, kind of like I said, like a gel, like a just, yeah, it has a little glob to it. So it's a little bit easier um, to manage and handle. So that's something I definitely keep on my work table at um, all times. Um, something else I just want to do a quick mention on. Didn't Don't say a lot about it because I don't like to do it. But I do keep little sanding blocks around. I have sanding blocks. Oops, sorry for bumping it. And I have super, super fine um, sand, sandpaper. So those are things that I uh, keep around as well. Um, getting back to the adhesives, um, I do have used the Fabric Fusion um, Quick Dry. And this is for my fabrics for hemming for curtains, anything that has to do with fabric. I definitely use that um, along with that as being uh, a mainstay. Also the liquid stitch. I use this for a lot of my hemming. Um, this is for hemming. This can be used for hemming. Oops, I'm sorry. But I don't use this to adhere anything. I can hem with this and I can adhere. And it it, the claim is that it dries five times faster. And I would say it dries five times faster than the fabric fix. But the fabric fix by Beacon is really great because sometimes there's some projects you need a little bit more time, a little wiggle room. So you when you're adjusting things, so the fabric fix is very similar to the fabric fusion. It just dries a little slower, gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Both of them can be thinned out with um, just regular regular 100% acetone. So that's something I just, again, I keep it on my work table at all times. Um, um, I think that is um, everything I have as far as adhesives. Well, let's, this, uh, this, this, this deserves a mention. I do use the Mod Podge. Um, I keep satin and matte on my table um, and with the fabric I do use fray check I do keep those so those are other things I keep on my craft table now I've mentioned on a couple other videos um, that I use gesso um, the liquid text gesso I've been using this since I was in high school so it's a really great product to have on your work table. Now, I don't want to discourage anybody who's um, watching this thinking they have to run out and go buy a whole bunch of adhesives and all kinds of different things. These are the things that have become my tried and true products based on the different types of um, uh, projects I'm working on. I do a lot of different things with miniatures, I'm working with everything from fabric to clay to metal to whatever. So these are the things that I've learned. You can start out your journey with miniatures with just tacky glue and Gorilla Wood glue. 
you know you can get into some of the other things later but I'm I've gotten a lot of questions about what I use so that's why I'm going over these things um, with you today um, also with regard to what I use um, with my wood um, uh, in the rooming house dollhouse I used um, a lot of this this is by Minwax the color is called espresso it's a really dark penetrating stain I use this for a lot of my um on a lot of my wood the, the jar is kind of well it's kind of dirty because I use it all the time um I also use a uh, Verithane wood stains also um both really nice stains they're penetrating stains I like them a lot I keep them on my table at all times um I also this is not something you always have to have but I use this for cleaning the brushes that I do decide to clean I don't clean brushes Often, many times, I purchase very um, inexpensive uh, brushes so that I don't have to um, commit to them. I can just, when I'm done using them, I can just toss them. And I do, I buy these packs like this so I can, yeah, mistreat the brushes and throw them away. That's what I do. Okay. Now, also with regard to my woodworking supplies or things that I use um, for my wood. Um, definitely I want you to know as far as cutting, all I use is Swan Morton as far as um, cutting um, for my wood. Now I do use, um, I do also purchase extra blades because you definitely need um, extra blades when you're working with um, the Swan Morton because um, when you start out a project you need sharp blades so I buy the blades by the box and keep them on hand when I'm working um, with my making my miniature projects um, to help me to hold things down I use the painters tape or masking tape if it's painted I use the painters tape if it's not if it's not painted I'll use the masking tape um, they definitely help me um, Keep things in order. Now, I actually do use a um, a little drill, and this is a little hand drill. It comes with several different um, several different pe you know, oops, several different um pins. You can take them out; they're interchangeable. So, um, yeah, I don't. I generally don't use a power drill. I actually do own a Dremel. Um, but I basically only use it with something I feel like, yeah, it's, it's no way I would get through it with a regular, um, uh, with a regular saw. I do have a hacksaw. Don't use it that often. I do also, this is really sad, but I, <laughs> I have an exacto saw blade. I don't have the handle with it that, that often I usually use it without the handle. I'm not advising you to do that. Use it with the handle. But sometimes the pieces are so small, I just use the blade. So that is um, something else I do. I'm trying to think. Oh, as far as the woodworking, that's what I was trying to show you. Okay, so um, we already talked about the blade. We talked about the drill. Okay, so the, the wood I use is by Midwest. Just the Midwest basswood. Most craft or hobby stores carry this. Um, yeah, you can you can find that out at most craft and hobby stores. I buy mine by the box online because I'm always making things. Um, but this is what I use. And it's 1 16th um, as far as thickness for wood. All right. Now, also because, again, um, some things I'm not interested in trying to make. I will purchase newel posts and um, spindles and use them as legs or building components for my dollhouse furniture. So these are some little legs I've ordered. These I purchased from um, craft shops or hobby stores. I also buy these little dollar store blocks to split them in fours to make legs. Um, and also wooden beads come in really handy as far as making legs or decorative components to um, dollhouse furniture. So, you know, you just have to use your imagination and allow yourself to be creative. 
Now I think I showed you all in the video for the blinds. Um, I use these little sticks again from the dollar store. These are what I use for my um, rods for um, the roller rods to put the blinds on for the rooming house dollhouse. I use um, I use those. I also keep wax paper on hand just to protect my table. Say if I'm staining something or working with something that's kind of sticky. This protects your table or your counter. I do order things like this um, sometimes from the um, from the miniature supply, uh, you know, the miniature supply uh, suppliers. But I keep everything. I don't. Um, I have spare boxes of spare pieces of wood that I keep, and that's what I use when I'm making things from scraps. Um, I've mentioned it um, before also um, as far as um, what I use many times. Uh, you all know that I use um, the jumbo craft sticks a lot. I buy them by the box. I bought a box of 500 of them two years ago and I'm still using them. I made all the floors in the rooming house dollhouse and still have lots more sticks. Um, and I also do use um, coffee stirs. These are really thin ones. This company, there's a really super, super thin. And I do use those as well. All right. I use the regular, traditional, um, what they call just popsicle sticks. Those are also. And last but not least, I use the little thicker birch wood. Um, coffee stir sticks. They come in really handy too. They're a little bit thicker than um, the other type I mentioned. So, you know, depending on what you're doing or what you're trying to trim out, they come in really handy. So, um, and like I said, when I get done or finish a project, I almost never throw anything away. I keep it. And when I'm deciding to make things, I always check my scrap box first to see if they're pieces that will accommodate um, what I'm trying to make or what I'm trying um, to do. So, oh, and I do keep these on hand as well. I have some electrical scissors and I have an easy cutter. Um, this is about Midwest um, products. And although you all don't see me use these very often, I do have um uh, speed square and I have ruler and I have another little baby ruler and yes yeah, so I do have uh, measuring um, tools although I don't use them that often all right so I just wanted to kind of give you an overview oh it was another thing that was worth mentioning I wanted to show you um, as far as resin um, when I use, um, use the things with resin, um, this is the brand I had the last time I use it, but it's just UV resin. I, um, I liked this. It was, it was fine. Um, but recently I ordered some more offline and this is a different brand, but they're both, uh, UV hard UV resin. Um, you know, as long as it's hard UV resin and, um, it's compatible with, um, the light you're using, um, it's fine. And I, the light I use is the type that people um, use to do their nails. So, um, yeah. So, again, I just want you to to just, um, you can start with the basics. I, I haven't really shared my whole journey um, to miniatures um, here on my YouTube channel yet, but um, some of you know I've referenced that I started my miniature journey as a child. So all I had was scraps and a little glue and a lot of very basic, um, basic tools to do what I do. So I don't want anyone to be discouraged to think that they can't do or can't make miniatures because they don't have a whole lot of fancy supplies. Start small and you build as you go. But I want you to um, enjoy the journey. Oh, it's two more things I didn't share with you um, that I mentioned. I do use the rub and buff. And I do use the testers. 
um, paint. And also, as far as um, acrylics, any acrylic paint will do. Um, but I just happen to use the folk art and the apple barrel um, colors. So I think that's um, that's that's enough for today, um, dolls. I don't want to keep you on here too long, but I just kind of wanted to give you an overview and answer some of the questions um, about what products I use. So when I'm sharing different things with you, you'll know um, what I'm doing. I also, um, I'm going to start sharing um, a supply list on uh, the video based on whatever I'm using. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on doing that dolls as well. Thank you so much for um, watching today. Thank you to my subscribers and those of you all who haven't subscribed, but you are watching. I appreciate you as well. Um, just want to make sure you all know that I upload on Mondays and Wednesday. I may be doing um, pop-up videos here and there depending on what I'm sharing, uh, what I need to share. But Mondays and Wednesday, Wednesdays after 7.30 Eastern Standard Time is my regular um, video upload day and I wanted to make mention of this because some people said that they weren't getting the notifications when I uploaded so you can always watch for me or look for me on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I hope this video answered your questions and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Take care now dolls. Bye-bye.